Is there anyone uh, who has written a mains already? Who has Yes, sir. Okay, Ravi, Ravi, you are done. Yeah, obviously. So, Ravi, can you share your experience? What? Uh, how many? Uh, how many medical science uh, main papers you have written? Once or twice? Uh, sir, I have written this year, two thousand twenty-two, and sir, my marks is two sixty-nine. Two sixty-nine is a good score. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Uh, sir, I completed all my paper, and most of the time, uh, I mean, things I thought was the repetition of the PYQs itself. and uh, but sir uh, above that sir i am not able to score much higher marks because in other options people are scoring very high so mm -hmm. so uh, ravi uh, what did you think after after your preparation right like uh, you would have prepared at least for two months specifically for medical science so after you wrote your paper and came out back to your room and saw the paper what did you think were you over prepared what did you think or you were under prepared for medical science what did you think uh sir i i think i i i should have more worked on pyqs and have solved more on them um uh, and a few of the questions were very factual and that were uh, specifically from the syllabus and in those uh, specific areas i have not written much answers so that is uh, where i think i am i was lacking this time perfect perfect, perfect. so uh, ravi uh, would you agree that most of the preparation per se for medical science because other subjects you need to read a lot in medical science per se we already have an idea about all the subjects so in that sense if i put the statement like medical science is all about uh, having a good plan to approach this exam rather than reading too much what would you say about the statement would you agree to it or would you disagree yes, 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 yes sir i completely agree with this uh, so okay. it's not much to read but to strategize yes <laughs> exactly but uh, so for others also i would like why, why i have taken this answer uh, that so Vishard, you also have written means. Mm. Yes, sir. I also have written the means. And so, what did you feel after the means? Two seventy six. My score was. Okay. Two. How much was the score? Two seventy six. Two seventy six. So, what did you feel after the exam? Do you think strategy is more important? Uh, did you feel that some way, or what did you think? Sir, completely agree, sir. I was reading like anything for the medical science, but I feel the planning is more important rather than reading like anything. My, exactly. uh, I feel right. that I have read more uh, in these three months about medical science rather than whole uh, final year. So, <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Vishal. So, okay, I think all of you will agree because at the end of my journey in UPSC, like after five times of writing medical science, sometimes na I also still feel that I had wasted so much time on some things which are not needed in medical science, but I wasted so much time on those things. But right. there are some areas which are low-hanging fruits, which I can target properly. This is what I feel completely. And every year, even after the first exam, I feel the same. The second time, I slightly improved. Third time, I slightly improved. Fourth time, I slightly improved. And fifth time, I improved even better. So every year, it was an improvement. And uh, so, if you if you would ask me, I would strategize for this medical science. The serious strategy. I would put five in now to reach at this level. That is why I I really see I have nothing to lose now. So I thought I should share whatever I have gained in all these five years of preparation. So that is the entire purpose of the session also. So that is the first thing. First thing to keep in your brain is that planning is the most important thing when you are approaching medical science paper. It's not like on the GS paper where you need to write ten tests, twenty tests, then you can write the exam. Even with one single test of one paper, say for example paper one, section one. If you write only one test, that also will do actually in medical science because we already have the experience here. So writing tests, reading and reading again, uh, or to say, then watching so many discussions, then uh, coming back and rewriting the same test again, reading the same answer again, is what is not needed in medical science. Whereas in GS, they say those things, but that is not needed in medical science because we are already doc. So that is why a small change in strategy has to be here. Okay. So first thing is that you should have a very good plan. Okay. So having a good plan, what does that mean? Again, based on my experience, I'll tell you. So what happens is that what we normally tend to do is that we plan either medical science at the beginning, like first month I'll finish medical science and I'll start this, or what we'll do is that let me focus because a lot of new students will come. Medical science is something I can manage somehow. Don't worry about it. Let me focus on GS first, SA first, ethics first. Then last one month I'll do medical science. This is what people. These are the two strategies which are very very detrimental because why I'm telling you is that. Medical science, first of all, you should all understand, is a very volatile subject. Even if you read Alnar now today, I'll, I can bet you after three days you will forget Alnar now again. You're getting it. 
So this is what will happen and this will happen. I, I know that. I'm not, I know that for sure. So then, sir, how should I strategize? Say, for example, let's say that you have 100 more. How many days exactly you have for your means again? Can you just tell me? Anyone tell me? Right now, 95 days. Okay. Let's say that we have 90 more days. Okay. So, and we have plus five days exclusively between the exams for means specifically because we have one week there. Okay. That five days, I'll tell you, it will depends how to plan that five days. But let's talk about the next 90 days now. Okay. In that 90 days, what you should do is that every day, I'm telling you, every day you should have a bit of time for medical science. It's not that something one month I'll finish medical science, last one month I'll do because it will not work that way. Medical science is something we should keep seeing it daily. It's not that you need to work six hours, seven hours per day. Even if you can spend three to four hours per day for the next 90 days, that should be sufficient. Remaining time, you focus on your GS. Because ultimately, um, based on my experience, I'm telling you again, guys, because I have been on the other side, we all think that we need to get a rank. That is what will go into your mind right now. But believe me, trust me, only rank will not do in this exam. Because I have got postal service once, I have got revenue service once, then I got into IPS. And trust me, believe me, all services are not the same. And there are some services which are the top preferences. And for that services, you need to get the top ranks. And even after that, I'm telling you, I've seen so many of my friends who get into the top services, then they are worried about their carders. Okay. So it never ends. So what does it mean? What does it tell us that each and every mark is very important. You know that if you see from 70th rank to 100th rank, say for example, I got 100th rank when I got into the IPS. 79th rank was the last IAS. For me, in the last IAS rank, it was only three marks difference. Exactly three marks. You're getting it. But on the hindsight, if I see, I, was, I think I, sh I was lucky only. If I had got the three marks, what would I have been? I would not have been in my home garden. I would have got IAS, but I would have been somewhere else. So maybe I landed up here for a good reason. But why I'm telling you is that each and every mark plays an important role. And medical science is something, if you prepare well, you can definitely reach up to 300. If you have a strategy well, you can reach up to 300. The 20, 25 marks extra edge, you cannot gain with GS. GS, say for example, even if you read, you don't read five topics and you go to exam. Okay. It's okay. Probably plus minus five marks you will get. That much only will make a difference. But if you don't read five topics for a medical science and go, it will change into 20 marks or 25 marks. So that is what is a major thing about medical science. Okay. So that is why we need to make sure that whatever happens next 90 days, you should always have medical science in your schedule on a daily basis. That is first thing. And sir, how do I plan this 90 days? Again, Firstly, a lot of people will take a syllabus and then start reading for medical science. Okay. And for any subject per se, or they'll take a book or they'll say, take some notes uh, or some other thing, or they'll stick to their college notes and start preparing. But I would say that medical science, the prime guide and the blueprint for medical science lies in your PYQs only. It's all PYQs. It's all PYQs. So your entire target and most of your energy should go only in PYQs. Say for example, if you are going to prepare for medical science, 70% to 80% of your time should go only in PYQs. That much is the importance of PYQs. And not just that last three years question paper, last four years question paper. Take from 2011 or 12. Solve at least 10 to 15 years of question papers. Do only question wise. Say, say for example, what happens is that I give you one example of shoulder joint. Okay. Say, for example, in anatomy, let's all preparing, like we are preparing shoulder joint. What if we prepare the normal university exam, what we will do shoulder joint? We'll first take the shoulder joint. Okay, let's see that what is the origin, what is the, like, not origin space, what are the joints involved, what are the, what type of joint is it? Then you will go into uh, what articulation it is. Then you will think that what is the nerve supply, what is the vascular supply, you will try to read the relation. Then you will try to do the cleaning and anatomy. So many things you will read. And if you want to make a note of shoulder joint, You'll make a note for four to five pages and you, you think that, yes, I finished shoulder joint completely. I'm going to do well in the exam. This is how you prepare normally. But in reality, what happens is that you maximum have two page or three page only to write. Because for a 10 mark answer, you have two sides. And for a 15 mark answer, you have three sides maximum. So in that three sides, even if you prepare 10, day, 10 pages, you are not going to put it inside. So you don't have that much time and you don't have that much energy there. And second thing, believe me, is that you will, you will think that, okay, I will read all the relations exactly, exactly, anterior, superiorly, this is there, okay? Postromedially, this bursa is there. If you read all these things, also you will forget. Anyway, you will forget, okay? So what is the best way to do that? Take the PYSQs. How they are asking shoulder joint? Okay, they are asking about articulation. Yes, joint type they are asking. They are asking about nerve supply. They are asking about vascular supply. And they are asking about clinical anatomy. Clinical anatomy, maximum two marks only they ask. That means for every joint, you should not read more than two clinical applications. Only max two. 
not more than that and what happens is that they will read the entire joint fully I, it just happened to me what happened is that shoulder joint in that question one part was nerve supply of shoulder joint i knew all the points about shoulder joint but suddenly when i when i went to the exam this nerve supply of the shoulder joint it got stuck for my mind i couldn't get it three nerves are going i know the three nerves which nerve which branch is something i didn't know but you should be very specific the articular branch from the radial nerve or the descending branch or the this branch from this nerve is supplying this joint it should be very specific because it's a one mark answer it's very specific answer so that means how your notes should be is that as per question answer format if shoulder joint means you just see last 10 years question paper what are the aspects they are asking in shoulder joint yes they are asking about articulation they are asking about nerve supply they are asking about vascular supply they are asking about one or two clinical correlations that's all more than this you should not have notes and along with this you should have diagram bring in the practice of putting diagrams in all the papers as much as possible wherever possible put diagrams if they are asking pathology question histopath use hnd pencil and make the diagram that will give you the more marks ultimately the person uh, do you guys know who is correcting this medical science papers do you have any idea okay so all the papers are evaluated by the cghs faculty that is the central government health services who have joined using that cms exam and who are in the rank of hod in this major colleges like uh, mansi or uh, your deen dayal upadhyay or sabdarjang those hods are the ones who are going to correct your papers if surgery means surgeon will correct anatomy means from an anatomy department hod will come and correct or a professor rank either professor or hod these are the people who correct you imagine these are the people who have crossed 55 years of age okay and they have seen anatomy all their life okay so do you think they will be reading each and every point of it they, even if you miss two three points they don't bother what is asked if you have answered if you have put a neat diagram you imagine a person who is correcting anatomy and you have put a diagram perfectly okay based on relations everything do you think he will think about anything else he will just stop with it uh, okay this guy has put the diagram yes he has understood everything over he just go ahead with the next question but if you are not put the diagram that is where you are inviting the doctor you are making him come inside then he will check all the branches of the nerve all the vessels each branch which branch is written any mistake na he will just round it off so that means ultimately what happens is that for a person who is going to be age more than 55 presentation is very very important i'm telling you if you present well you will get 10 to 15 marks extra in medical science and how does a presentation increase in medical science is based on your pictures or the flow charts these are the ones which are going to help you so paper 1 the value addition should be diagrams in paper 2 the value addition should be your differential diagnosis the investigation as if, say for example there is a question uh, I, i think um, uh, i have seen some questions like this okay there was a 75 year old man who was comat- uh, who was found comatose on the road okay what are your differential diagnosis then second line itself you what is the treatment for type 2 diabetes they will give like this so what everyone's mindset will be okay this is a person who has gone into coma because of maybe low uh, low glucose level or something and sorry uh, is, is my voice audible now yes, okay yeah fine thank you so what happens is that uh, because in most of the questions in paper to what happens is that in the last part of the question the diagnosis is actually given in the question itself 75 year old man all these things he ka he was seen unconscious in a garden um, so his pulse rate bp was there, something like that they would have given and ultimately uh, what are the differential diagnosis will be there and the last question discuss the management of type 2 diabetes so now all the people will have their mindset okay it is something related to diabetes it is something that is related with hypoglycemia or it is uh, or uh, like what to say so this uh, hypermetabolic syndrome or something like uh, uh, or this um, hyperglycemic coma this is what everyone thinks of something so what happens that your differential diagnosis will become extremely narrow only regarding diabetes you will write but apply your mind a 75 year old man who is found unconscious it can be due to low, low glucose or it can be due to some neurological it can be due to some cvs system it may be due to respiratory system you discuss all your details system wise you give all the details there and that is where the person gets impressed okay he is a doctor who can apply things and after that whatever you write it doesn't matter even though differential diagnosis for one or two marks but make sure that you analyze all the system so that means in paper 2 where does the validation come the validation comes in dds and the dds if you can give it system wise that will be the best part 
second validation in paper 2 specifically i'm talking about in paper 2 where are the validation can come is that in your treatment what happens is that everyone thinks that management means it's only treatment no management means includes the investigation as well as the treatment lot of people do not write the investigation so third more important point okay how to add value add in your paper 2 so thing is you need to write investigation as well as you like like uh, treatment for the management part third point when something is asked how will you manage this case okay in the investigation what people will write is that they'll write from the uh, some people are the fact that say for example if it is um, like let's say say for example uh, let's take a dermatology psoriasis answer what are the how do you diagnose this so immediately they'll write these are the tests there that uh, three like uh, what is that the scratch test uh, or uh, the pathological examination or the if it's a fungal infection they'll write the wound, la wound lamp test like three four tests only they'll write but what i personally feel in investigation try to write a brief okay history in history what are things you can get if it's a scabies itching at the night only the positive history you can write itching at the night present young age present family members are also affected present positive these are the things can be positive second you go a physical examination especially at the web space or at the um, joint space or the extremities or the extensor aspects or flexor aspects these are the points which are more involved okay then third you go lab investigation you write only the positive lab investigation what are the things which can be positive so that lo positive also try to write the, even the normal things also say for example uh, what i would say is that um, say uh, some uh, oncology uh, in surg surgery some related to some cancer or og maybe they are asking ca service write about weight loss more than 10% in the last 3 months so you write this even this small point has to be mentioned because ultimately we are all mbbs doctors they expect these general things from you rather than okay directly going taking ct mri pet scan yeah you can write that also but start from the basics this is because all these 55 or 60 year old men are all still old patient they have the old school of thought that do not directly go into imaging first try to diagnose clinically then you go into imaging that is the mindset they also have and your presentation should also be like this first is always clinical diagnosis then only is investigation then only is imaging you have this path clear so clinical examination then investigation third is only imaging so have a pattern like this so that it will help you to score more marks in your paper okay this is about the presentation okay this is the second point that is the third point i talked about previously and fourth is that sir how do i spend like say for example anatomy surgery these are the subjects which we tend to waste more time okay so particularly what i would say that how much days i should pick for each and every subject i think it personally depends on you okay so what i would suggest is that better complete anatomy surgery and medicine in the beginning itself so that at least you can estimate your time very well because you will plan for 90 days you will put a schedule for 90 days and if you have your anatomy surgery and medicine at the end it will add more pressure to you so at least you can change your plan in the course of time so my suggestion would be finish anatomy surgery and medicine because these are the three big subjects and physiology also to be very frank physiology is also actually big when you see the syllabus so maybe keep these four subjects as a initial plan finish this off then go to the other subjects so i would suggest like that and uh, fifth point sir how much practice i need to just a minute i'm sorry uh, yeah just a minute okay so how much practice should i have for this medical thing so since i have been associated with the ias delhi medical science institute so i have been associated here for more than 4 5 years now i have been correcting papers also i have been setting question papers i have been making moral answers everything i have done here so i don't know about other institutes per se but as an institute iis is actually doing a good job in science terms of medical science specifically so i don't know whether other things are available but what i would personally prefer is that even in my during my fifth main course i personally took a medical science series in this institute just because the problem is we will say that even i can write on my own test series only right i can take some question paper and write but it never happens and we don't evaluate it in a regular way maybe one paper you will do whole heartedly but after that now without a test series we don't do it so better subscribe to one test series i would personally suggest you and make sure you take the test series on time also there will be schedule given because the problem with all the main test series is that they will give a starting date but the ending date is not there you can write anyway you can submit it till the exam so probably sometimes what happens is that the first test comes immediately maybe next week or the after that itself you will not be ready so maybe according to you modify your schedule for your basis say for example add one more week to all the tests 
but finish it within the time because i have seen people who don't the problem is this is not like a gs test at all even without reading you can go and give the exam correct so make sure you stick to the timetable but just give the exam even if you are not prepared go give the exam please give the exam get an experience of time management because medical science with time management is also another crucial issue if you what happens is that one person will try to take okay the first question will be knee joint okay i'll put a beautiful picture of knee joint five six pictures he'll put and when he sees the time he will be 20 25 minutes gone for the one knee joint answer over i'm telling you that time itself you have wasted at least 10 marks of your paper okay because at the end you will be rushing now so that means managing time is very very important medical time as you know that again so for here also if it's a 10 mark question you can give a maximum of 8 minutes only if it's a 15 mark question you can give maximum of 10.5 to 11 minutes only you cannot overshoot it if you overshoot it you are going to miss some other marks in some other some other question because another issue here is that in gs at least one or two questions you won't know you you don't know what to write also but in medical science it's like that not like that every question you can write still write something so you need to give time for each and every question so you cannot overshoot your time limit so managing time is very important and managing time you learn only by giving mock tests so please take all your mock tests seriously even if you are not prepared it's okay take it on time because first will be subject wise test only i think or section wise test full papers are coming at the end only that time we can even if you are not prepared for your section test please go and take it at least see how well you are managing your time this is very important so that is the fifth thing fifth thing i want to talk about that is like how do you manage your testing and sixth which is like the last point i'm going to talk about medical science is that should i make notes a very important point so personally based on my experience i feel is that medical science is a see firstly we should imagine like where do we need notes notes is needed in a place where you will tend to forget things or you think that consolidating again will be a difficult issue so let me consolidate and keep it these are the two areas you need to make notes and both the categories are yes in medical science first is that if you don't make notes again what will happen when you take a say for example chaurashya biri chaurashan open your anatomy or if you open uh, your gyanon and gaitan for physiology and open and see one topic will be so big again you will be lost in the ocean of the book the books are so big that you will be lost so second thing is that if you read uh, maybe pathology today maybe uh, rheumatic heart disease you read today so what is that body what is a fish type body i forgot the name yes you will forget because you are not in touch with medical science anymore you are not in touch with medicine anymore so you will tend to forget the small small facts also so that is why you need to have short notes and especially you have only 5 days it's like writing all four years university exam together in one day first year second year third year fourth year in one go you are going to write that means you don't have time to revise in the last five days so please come into the habit of making notes on a daily basis say for example today i'm going to read psoriasis in dermatology okay just two page notes or one page note not more than that what picture i'll put what are the clinic just points just point wise so make sure if at the end of this 90 days i'm telling you at the end of this 90 days if you have if you can have only one long size notebook with all the areas of your pyqs covered in that notebook i can guarantee you that you are going to cross 290 plus in your medical science exam i can guarantee you. literally i can guarantee the problem is that what happens is that in the last five days when people are revising if you open a book over i'm telling you with one subject you will sit for the entire monday with the second subject you will sit for the entire tuesday only when wednesday comes shit i have these many topics to cover i don't have time now then only you will get scared and you will start rushing through things and you will forget again so the last five days if you have to revise properly you need to have short notes there is no other get over it than that based on my experience i'll tell you i don't know some people might advise you without notes also we can manage but those are the people who are very fresh from medical science probably they are in internship probably they can do it but once you have crossed internship i'm telling you you need notes without notes you cannot handle the subject so even if you don't make grand notes like very clear very crisp it's that notes is only for you to understand it's not for others to read make sure even if you read like say for example you read only in physiology neurophysiology you just need about the cerebral cs of circulation you are reading that notes is only for you what if i have to make a cs of circulation notes what i will do that one picture of the brain on the sagittal section which shows with an arrow where cs of flows then i'll see where are the pockets where csf collects that points on the seven or eight points okay and origin of csf where it and where it ends so for origin from these these are the places it gets secreted and these are the places it gets off that's all will be in my notes not more than this it's not that csf means i need to write csf has 
I think 150 ml, right? I don't know. I'm not sure about the ml. I forgot now. Okay, 150 ml of CSS. Yes, these are this maybe 150 can be mentioned in one piece. So that this will be easy for you to revise at the end. So what is important and what you will forget? Only those things should be in the notes. Other things you don't keep making beautiful notes so that you can print and give it to next batch. Not needed. This is only for you to score marks. So make sure you make such notes. Okay. So and finally, before I wind up, like that managing that five days in the last one week before the exam. That is very, very crucial. How do we manage it? One thing you should realize is that you will think that anatomy is a huge subject. I will spend one and a half days with anatomy. And at the end, dermatology will not be revised enough. Dermatology has only five parts, but almost 30 to 40 marks comes from dermatology. Okay. So this is what something which people don't realize even today. What happens is that does dermatology, the psychiatry, these are the areas which are neglected. But 20 marks from psychiatry, 40 marks from dermatology are coming every year. So you should not miss out on all these things. So what I'm trying to say is that, again, strategize your time based on the marks allotted. You're getting it. You have four sections. Okay. So say, for example, if you're weak in one section, probably you can say, for example, four sections, you can have only four days. Okay. Your fifth day of preparation should be on the weaker section. Say, for example, most of us are weaker in section A of paper one. So maybe one extra day or like three fourths of the day we can put for section A of paper one. And for section A of paper two, again, maybe the remaining one fourth of the day you can add. But every section has to be given that one day. You don't think that, okay, anyway, I'll manage. Somehow I'll write and come. This somehow will not work because each and every mark is important here. Okay. So make sure in that last five days, one one day each for one section is needed. That last one day is reserved day. Whichever you have missed it, you have to take it. It's not that only on anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, you spend three days. No, that is not the right way. I know it. that is what will happen at the end. I know that I, because I have felt the same. I think first three main when I wrote, three days or two and a half days went off only in the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, only in division for me. This will happen for you also. Please don't go by that. Make sure you strategize like that. And whichever subject you find it most difficult, that is where you should have the best notes also. Especially this area of neurophysiology. In first two attempts, I was not at all confident in neurophysiology. Third attempt, I made my own notes in neurophysiology. Then after that, I became very confident. Similarly, microbiology is immun immunology area. There are so many things, NK cells, that cell, this cell, specifically they ask questions. These are the areas, how many ever times you read, you will forget. Okay. Cell mediated immunity, write about humoral immunity, what is antigen, like uh, antibody mediated, uh, this, uh, like what is that? Type 3 hypersensitivity. What is it? Antibody mediated? I forgot. Antigen antibody complex mediated. Uh, okay, yeah, something like that. Sorry, I am really sorry. This is how medical science goes off from your brain. So these are the specific areas which you will forget. Means please make more sense. Okay. So this is what will be my advice, and this is what will be my experience sharing also. If you have any specific questions, I'll take now. Okay. But I think I hope I have made something clear for you. Keep your priorities straight. Believe that. Medical science is something, strategy is very important. Believe me that you need to have 90 days of everyday preparation for medical science rather than one full straight, one month full straight of medical science. No, it is not the correct way. And last thing is that, please keep in your mind that you are not here to become PhD scholars in medicine. You are here to clear the exam. You have your priority straight. What is your priority? PYQ is your priority. And hit on the PYQ directly. Okay? So, any area you are going to see, it should be based on your PYQs only. Keep revising your PYQs. Make it the question answer format and practice in the question answer format only so that you score better marks in your medical science. Okay? So this is what I wanted to tell you. Is there any doubts? You can ask me now. Yes, uh, Vishal. Sir, first of all, thank you so much for this much clarity. It was much needed that because the syllabus is so vast. And my question is, in the differential diagnosis, uh, should we just uh, enumerate them or should we just uh, write in the bracket that uh, because of this, this is not the case. Like in diabetes question, you said, uh, if we uh, put DD, heat stroke in the DD, then should we differentiate that because of this, the, uh, like, uh, if, perfect, yeah. perfect question. See, yeah. uh, you need to see the split up of the marks, okay? Mm -hmm. In DD, sometimes, most of the times, it comes as one mark or two marks only. Mm -hmm. that each and DD. But if the DD is for four marks, if it's like four plus six marks or four plus five marks, like four plus uh, five plus five marks, if it is going four or five marks, means you need to discuss. 
Okay. We will a little bit discuss it in bracket. How do you discuss? Say, for example, it's a comatose patient. Okay. Neurology, like uh, in like neurosystem, what are the DDs you have? Maybe it may be seizure or it may be infection. So you put up. Infection means neurosystem psychosis. You put in the brackets. So seizure means post status epileptic, epilepticus. So you can put these things in the brackets so that people will understand. Hmm. You're getting it? So, yes. or it can be metabolic. It can be because of sodium hy- hy- hyponatremia or hypernatremia, hypokalemia, whatever it is. But make sure you put it in the brackets, all these small, small words only, not more than that. Hmm. Keep it as short as possible. But if the DD is for only two marks, no need to discuss the DD. At this time, see what happens is that I used to have this strategy because you asked me, I, I remember this. Hmm. What happens is that first three should be the topmost DDs. Yes. Okay. And remaining will be the lower most, which you don't need. It's like, it may be DDs, but it's not very, very uncommon DDs. Okay. So what you can do is that in the first three DDs alone, you can put brackets and explain why it is. Remaining, you just write it. That is also possible. But right. all these things will come into play only if you have a four marker or a five marker. If you have one marker or two marker, no need to discuss because you need to ha- you need to have time for the other question. Yes. Don't try to perfection one question because you lose out on the time on the question. Yes. And sir, another yes. question is in the diagrams, uh, like in 2022 paper, they have asked about the blood supply and now supply of the stomach. So what I did was I just uh, draw the stomach and the BD Chorusha diagram that the left uh, gastric artery comes here, left gastric so, uh, do I need to write uh, anything uh, besides the diagram? Because I did not do that in the paper because of the speed. And no, 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 perfect, perfect. See, blood supply of stomach, again, if they are asked, okay, if you can number and name all the branches, say, for example, your epiploic artery, right epiploic or left epiploic artery, was very small, you were not able to mark. Even mm-hmm. if you can put a number, 9 or 10, and then write on the on an index, mm-hmm. that is also perfectly all right. Okay. okay. No need to waste time by writing. If you put a diagram, you will score more marks rather than writing. Okay. See, that's what again, uh, nerve supply will be for only for two marks. Diagram itself is too much for that. Yes. So, okay. Just be satisfied. The problem is now, we, we will not get satisfied. Shit, I have put diagram only. I should write something also. And you waste time there. It's only two marks. Put yes. the diagram and go off. Do not waste time there. And another said in microbiology, if they are asking about the lab diagnosis, uh, should we write uh, one or two uh, diseases caused by that organism or uh, like in a, like what about intro and conclusion in the medical science like that is the, uh, yeah, yeah exactly intro and conclusion this, are, this is, a, this is a, what to say this is not a, like an art paper it's a purely science paper and purely straight okay what they were asked you answer that so do not go for introduction conclusion in medical science paper. please do not go if they've asked only lab diagnosis of neurosystem psychosis you put lab diagnosis okay first is uh, so you here what will be the introduction of specimen that will be the introduction it can be blood it can be uh, imaging or it can be there so that's how you should write mm. so do not go for introduction conclusion in medical center. it's not at all needed. just be straight on the point on the target because you won't have time you would have written the paper right maybe mm. paper two at least you will have some time but paper yes. one you will definitely not have time very whoever good. it is you will not have time at all you need to be very specific yes and sir it depends on the choosing of the question also right uh, that uh how uh, how do you go about it? Like I know uh, out of five, four question or five, four and a half question, one somewhat. And in some, uh, some other question, I know three question, but properly. So I should go for four and a half question, right? Because... Okay, perfect, perfect. I, I forgot to discuss this, but this is a very important thing because since we have a choice in medical science paper, choosing your best answer is also very important. How will I choose, I'll tell you. So what happens is that probably... What people do is that this is a mistake which I also did in the first two exams. Mm-hmm. So what I'll think is that, say for example, uh, question I want to choose between question number four and question number five. Mm-hmm. Okay, question number four, first A answer, mm-hmm. I think I know that. In the B, I think I know 50%, like half of it I know. C also I have a vague idea. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. In question number five, I have only vague idea and B and C, mm-hmm. but A, I am 100% confident I know the best answer possible. Let's say take these two options. So what will I do now? Which I'll choose? Most of the people will go with the first option because I know half of of everything. And first also I know, I think I know the answer. So that is what they will choose. But now if you give me the paper, I'll choose the second option. Because second question may, I know vaguely B and C, but one is I have confident, confident answer is there for me. So how will I choose that? Is that it based on my marks only? What I'll do is that say, for example, in that question, A, B and C. 20 marks, 
So based on that, you choose that. The second option, if you have, say for example, I know all the questions, all three, but I'm not very sure about it. That means what you get, you will get probably 10, 10 or 15 or 8, something like that you will get. So when you choose like that, probably will be at a lesser mark. So yeah. how do you choose between options is that you try to put it as marks on the side itself. Okay, mm -hmm. if I write this 10 marker, I think I'll get 4 marks only. If I write this 10 marker, I think I'll get 7 marks. When you will get the 70%, see, always do not over imagine. You will not get 10 marks out of 10. No worry, you will get. Mm -hmm. So the maximum possible is 70%. Make sure like that. And the minimum possible is 30%. You try to allot mark based on that. Based on the marking only, you choose your option. Yes. So, first five minutes before the exam itself, they'll give you the paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And especially choosing of the question itself, I used to take 10 minutes extra actually. So, that mm -hmm. means that five minutes also I'll take. Even after the bell rings, the three hours, in the 10 minutes, I take extra 10 minutes time to choose the answer. Because choosing the answer is the most important thing. If you have chosen a wrong set, the entire thing goes off. And one more thing is that, if there is a question, say for example, especially in paper two section B, this happens when PSM is there. Some random question will be there in PSM, some scheme will be given, and that will be for 10 marks. People will think that I think the scheme is like that only. Mm -hmm. I think so. And they'll start, okay, it's okay. Rest two questions I know very well. So let's go for that only, they'll write. Mm -hmm. But imagine whatever you've written is wrong. A scheme mm -hmm. is something different and you've written something wrong. You get zero on that, which is not the right way of choosing. Just because you know two answers very well. It's not that you should choose that option. So again, write the marks. So if you don't know something, if you're not sure, na, you allot a mark of zero only for that and write. Then you add. Then based on that, you select the question. I hope I'm making things clear for everyone. Yeah. That means what I'm trying to say is that if you have to choose a question, try to give marks for that answer. Then you choose the set, whichever set you are going to get better marks. Yeah. Okay, that's how you should choose in medical science. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. This is yeah. awesome. Thank you, Vishal. Yeah, Ravi, you had a something? Uh, okay. Sir, uh, so my question got incorporated. Thank you. Okay. So, Ajay? Yes, Ajay. Mm. Ajay, can you hear me? Ajay Singh Ratos? Okay. Ajay, you need to unmute yourself. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir, my, Good morning, Ajay. Hello, sir. sir, my question is regarding UPSC CMS examination. Okay. Uh, so, I, Ajay, uh, I think I, na, I, this is a first, this is a different question now because I have written CMS also. We'll discuss about it separately. Okay. Uh, okay. You you give a request to uh, Adesh, sir. From there, I'll get back to you. I'll call you back. Okay. Thanks. Sure. Anything else regarding medical science paper? Anyone has? Okay, I think uh, that's it. Okay, yes, regarding medical science, yes. Uh, yeah, Vishal, you have now? Uh. Like you said, uh, in the PSM, there are so many schemes. So, uh, uh, how do you suggest we should go back to PARC or we should read the vision? No, 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 no. PSM, PSM, please don't go back to PARC. Okay, that's one of the biggest books which you will spend so much time. I would suggest you go back to if your friends are somewhere and I, I used to read narrow notes. Okay. Or any institute notes who are preparing for PG, no? So mm -hmm. take that notes and read for uh, PSM. Don't read more than that. Okay. okay. I, I will share you a link for PSM updates. Only. There is a link also online. They mm -hmm. write only the PSM new schemes, new uh, projects online. Okay. I, I will share, I will ask uh, them to share in your medical science group, okay? Yes, but you can follow the link for latest updates in medical science uh, of PSM. But otherwise okay. for PSM, please talk to some of your batchmates or some of your friends. Try to get notes of any institute. It can be Bhatia or it can be Mar or it can be I like a dance or whatever it is. Try to get notes and do Don't try to do it fast. Okay, sir. Understood. And in surgery also, sir, if we like uh, write a name of any surgery, should we uh, write about like draw the diagram if possible, like in the uh, pylondylar sinus that Z plus T or some if we do it. Uh... Uh -huh. that, that's all depends on the marks only. Uh, we start. So sometimes now what happens is that. Uh, They'll ask about the anal canal questions or not. They'll ask about first differential diagnosis. Okay. Uh, what is this test specifically they'll ask? Okay. And or else they'll ask what is this bath in the question itself. And lastly, they'll write, write about the treatment. The write about the treatment will be given three marks. So no need to do a discuss about that. But if six bath is separately asked for four marks, you can make a six bath diagram itself. So it all depends on the mark only. So that is what now what we normally do in medical science. We try to overwrite what we know. Rather than based on the marks. Mm -hmm. Try to focus on the marks are the guide for you. If you mm -hmm. think two marks only are related, 
don't write more than four lines or five lines that is what is for two marks okay. don't write a page for two marks no not five so make sure based on your marks only you write your exam okay sir understood sir thank you so much so i think then uh, we'll sir, yeah sir i have a doubt sir uh, sir it's not uh, very subject specific but with respect to the optional itself sir this was my first attempt and sir i'm i was still fresh sir b- sir but with time i'm thinking like uh, the optional i would not be able to like score very well from now onwards because uh, i would be forgetting the things and uh, sir since we are also getting less marks sir uh, it comes in my thoughts multiple times to change my option and most of the people are saying so because sir i have given like i i wrote my best i i i thought like uh, i would be getting good marks but it, it was not good yeah yeah ravi i'll do one thing again uh, you take uh, uh, you connect with adi sir only we'll discuss some day separately with based on okay because this we a different forum for that okay i think uh, I'll, i'll talk to you separately okay on this Okay okay sure sir thank you yeah, anything else regarding medical science test series per se no sir thank you okay sir. yeah yeah thank you so much because i am also getting late now i should go back to my work okay all the best these two questions specifically i'll address over phone okay so all the very best guys make sure you have a very strong plan and that is what is going to help you in medical science your strong plan and your strong notes these are the two pillars of medical science exam i am pretty sure about it you will all do very well and all the best make sure that uh, doctors come in more numbers into the top services all the very best guys okay thank you so much yeah. thank, thank you so thank much. you very much sir yeah, actually thank, thank uh, you so much this, sir this will be the first time i'm writing medical science so you pretty much covered everything all the doubts i had in my mind thank you very much sir thank you thank you sir kp thank you mm-hmm. bye nice